Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and this device that you see is a AC DC motor speed controller plus dimmer and you can see that there is a knob to control the speed of a motor. Now many of you asked me how I made this device. So today in this video I am going to show you that. This what you see is a motor speed controller 220 volts max and 4000 watts maximum power you can see here there are four terminals so these four terminals two are input and two are output and you can see there are holes present on the casing to allow heat from the circuit and let the circuit cool down the speed is controlled from zero to full and the full circuit is compact and metallic and the knob is really smooth and it is big enough so that it can easily be rotated. So let's open up the case and see how the circuit looks from inside and what the components are. And I must tell you that this is an SCR controlled motor speed controller. Now guys, the cost of this device is uh, around 550 Indian rupees and uh, as you can see, the case is a little bit tight and there are no screws available, some kind of metal lock, huh, yeah, now it's open and you can see the circuit inside, it looks really nice. There is a fuse, resistor, capacitor, four terminals and a big huge heatsink with a large SCR mounted on that heatsink. No wonder it is rated for 4000 watts and that is a bridge rectifier. Okay, so that's the controlling part and that is a 500 kilo ohm resistor potentiometer. So let's do the connections. Here I'm going to use two wires, one square mm wires and uh, the red I'm going to use for the input and yellow I'm going to use for the output. Guys, a uh, few of you might say that I'm using thin wires considering the power rating of this controller. Then I must tell you that this is a demonstration video. I would recommend you to use a max of 4mm wires because the current is going to be only as high as 18 amperes that is at full 4000 watts. So with that being said, let's move on to the wire connections. You can see that the case indicates the input connections and the output connections. The terminals on the left hand are the input. So the red wires will be connected to the left terminals, which are going to be the input. And you have to curve the wire a little so that it gets in completely. And same for the other one. So now your input terminal is done and uh, the other two, last two are going to be your output terminals which are as I said the yellow which I am choosing here. So yellow are the output and red are the input wires. Now let's test it with a 100 watt incandescent bulb. So yellow wires are the output so the bulb is connected to the output and as you can see that it is working really nice with the knob performance is working from zero to full quite smooth okay let's turn it on once again and uh, here as you can see that there is no change in voltage with the turning of knob that is because it is an SCR controlled speed controller and an SCR controller only changes the angle the firing angle but the peak voltage remains the same but if we connect a bulb with it the voltage will reduce and increase accordingly but in this case somehow the voltage is going beyond 220 volts i don't know what is happening sometimes it happens with this type you can see that the voltage went as high as 1171 volts yeah so that is uh, uh, the bad point of this uh, regulator now let's test it with this fan now it is an induction motor fan simple and you can see that this controls it really well the fan is 70 watts so this load is nothing for this speed controller 
and you can see that the controlling is really smooth I'm really satisfied with this except for the fact that when you turn it off with the switch there's a pulse which gives more than full output now guys this what you see is a 220 volts 500 watts universal motor from a sewing machine and I've connected a pulley to its shaft so that it, it is easier for you to judge and see the RPM control and shaft movement of this motor so let's start it and as you can see that the starting was really slow which indicates smooth start and smooth running as well with the sound of it you can see that the RPM is really high it is working pretty good guys and yes I am satisfied with this Whoa. very high RPM Now guys the previous motor that you saw was this one 500 watts motor from an old sieving machine. So now I'm going to use this 960 watts washing machine motor. This one is also a universal motor that can run both on AC and DC. You see very thick windings have been used. So let's test this controller with this big motor. Now guys the maximum RPM of this motor is up to 14,000 and from the sound of it I think it's believable. Okay, so guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. And in one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to share with you the idea to use this speed controller for DC motors like treadmill motors.